Bible just for kicks, man. I've been feeling it since 1966, man. I keep my hands to myself. again week 16 class uh, intermediate class and it's one that we taught many years ago and uh, we're just combining a couple of combinations for you so we hope you enjoy uh, quite often you see these types of spins in cabaret and teachers performing them and uh, you've got um, advanced sort of dancers so um, it's something you've got time to, to sort of work on now so uh, it's a nice one to do uh, don't forget uh, make sure the floor is clear before you start dancing you've got uh, drinks to rehydrate as on our table and then um, again, if you're feeling poorly, always make sure you check with the doctor before you do any type of exercise. Uh, please like our, our videos because the more you like them, the more they get shared on YouTube. So if you tick the little thumbs up and like button underneath, then YouTube decide that they will share it with other people because you like it. So they hope other people will like it. So it makes sense. Um, also, if you want to receive our videos on an ongoing basis, please do the subscribe and then click on the little bell, the little tingly bell again down below and then uh, it just means you'll get all our information sent to you free of charge so first part of the class is going to look like this here we go we'll do it from a side angle first so guys what we're going to do is it's a right to right hand shape hold and uh, we're going to break and then we're going to draw this hand down and we're going to do a um, it's been that long since i've done a proper class um a sway <laughs> but we're going to go up to the shoulder so we're going to draw that hand down and up to the lady's shoulder we'll show you this from another angle but want you to see the footwork first so we're going to take this hand there and we're going to both sway back on the right and then we're going to walk forward. Now the way I'm going to lead it is if you can see from here this right hand is on the outside shoulder and it just pushes the lady gently forward. Okay. So once the lady's in this position here, this hand is taking some weight. This hand is leading by that part there on the lady's shoulder. So as I move forward, we're going to walk. We're just going to walk one, two, three four okay so it's just if we just show you that from this angle now so we've gone back into the sway and the right foot comes forward for both of us the left foot the right foot the left foot and obviously you can go for a walk like that with the ladies uh, let me just show you from the back so you can see this angle here so if we go from this point here we break we sway in onto a shoulder sway we sway back and then this hand is leading from here and we're just going to go forward right left right okay and you can walk for as long as you wish now this is where it changes slightly because we're going to just put a little bit of pizzazz into there so we're going to go from this part we've already gone into the sway now with this hand i'm going to not only bring the lady forward but i'm going to slightly twist her towards the back of the room towards the left twist okay this left hand will now push gently towards the lady twist 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 okay so from this angle so we break on one we're in on two we sway back three we twist four five six seven okay so by a twist what we're trying to do is just twist the upper torso but cross the legs accordingly so what you don't want is anything major by twisting okay when i say twist it's almost using body isolation where the top of the body stays as it is the bottom of the body twists okay and it just gives a nice effect on a walk now what we're going to then do is we're going to and this is hard to lead it's one of those moves that once you've done it a few times it gets easier but also at the same time it won't always work okay but once you've danced it once or twice with a lady she'll remember for next time and then it does happen a lot easier um, I do I do this quite a bit in our classes with the girls 
in freestyle and because a lot of them know what it is now because I can lead it because I've done it long enough and um, then it usually works but don't worry if it doesn't at first it may be that you just have to explain to the lady um, if she wants you to explain so don't stop the dance and go oh you need to do this but if she wants to learn it if you go oh what was that so what you do is you walk we get the twist the twist and when we're on the right foot what's going to happen is I'm going to kick and point the toes down cross that leg and then place that leg on the floor okay so what we're going to do is we do that one more time it is the left foot goes point back okay and the toe is now on the floor ready to transfer weight now i'm going to show you this from a different angle so let me just show you from here so this is for both of us it's the same foot for the ladies as the gents the left foot goes out and points the left foot comes back it touches down now as this touches down it's almost going to push this right foot away push boom boom and we just go back to our center point okay so it goes and point kick back okay we're both doing that from here for it so yeah it's just a kick ball change uh, but if we're on that on the right foot and we're going to go straight into it now we're ready for the kick so we go kick ball change feet together okay one more time we're going to go and kick ball change excellent okay so what we've now got looks like this. So it's a handshake hold, right to right. So we break on one, we turn the shoulder on two, we sway back three, we walk, twist, 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 kick, place, back, okay? From here, we're gonna bring the lady forward again. So she's gonna go on the right foot this time, the outside foot, and we're gonna take the left hand over. And what you can't see here is as this left hand goes down, I'm gonna change hands, so we've got a left, to right and put a little return. Okay. So from the beginning, handshake hold, break one, shoulder two, sway back three, slight twist four, five, six, kick, ball, slide. Left hand over, change left to right, finish, break. So guys, that's your first move done. Uh, let's just do it from the front for you now, all the way through. So we've got one and two, back three, and twist four, five, and six, kick seven, place eight, slide back, over the lady, change, hands, return. Now, always make sure, we've talked about this in our other videos, and all the videos are down below, but we always say about finishing centre to each other. So what we don't want is twist where we're finishing like that, and the angles are all wrong. When you start your dance, if you go onto the dance floor and start dancing, you will always start facing each other. Okay, you won't go onto the dance floor and say, right, let's have a dance. And then start like that okay it just doesn't happen but we finish moves sometimes on a weird twist and then we're like that and then we start the next move from there so you always try and make sure that as you bring the lady around you can stop we've talked about that in classes below as well and then we place and now we're ready for that move to continue for the next move this is where moves get messy sometimes when you see them on the dance floors and people um, are dancing and then they're almost dragging the lady back across them because the lady's either out of position or the man or both are out of position to try and make the next move work. And then when you see these moves on videos and teachers and cabarets and, and you think, oh, I'm going to pinch that move and you do, it doesn't quite work. And it's usually not because you don't know the move, it's because you're going out of position part way through the move. So you, you can't continue that move in a professional way. In, in the way it was choreographed and meant to look and meant to feel. So always make sure you get back facing your lady before you start the next move. So we've finished our first move, now we're ready for the second move. And this is why we need to be facing each other. Because as I break, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this left hand up to my left shoulder there. And I'm going to look at the lady and the lady's placed her inside foot just behind me. And then as I'm watching the lady, I'm going to go over my head, over the lady's head. But as I come to face, this right hand now comes down and offer. Now, if you look at that, that is where we finish, and that's only part way through the move. But we're instigating the second part of that move. So if we were too far away or twisted, this move would not continue to flow. And this is what I'm saying about making sure that you always come back to your partner. I know we half on about it, and I do apologise, but it will make your dancing much nicer. So what we're going to do is again, we're going to break on one, in on two, watch the lady over the head, off of the right hand. Okay. Now from here, because we, we're closest together, if we can do, show you from this angle, <clears throat> we're only about that far apart, 
<clears throat> we're facing each other, we're looking at each other, we've got the hands. So from here we can continue that turn over one more time to come out and now we're back facing again. And the, the footwork on this, if we can show you from here, is we're going to put the weight on our outside leg, the right, for the man on the left, for the lady. So as we put the, the weight on that and we go round, I'm then going to turn my body, my back to the lady, and the left foot, now we've got the weight on it, the right for the lady, and we're back to back. I'm going to put the weight onto the left foot, the right for the lady, hand over both heads, and then we just place that right foot back out again. Okay? So we keep it in a really nice line. Let me show you from a different angle. Show you from here. So we're going to break on one, into the shoulder, watch the lady, off with a hand, watch the lady, come back to face. Okay? So that's it. So for the ladies, this is your positioning. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. So your positioning for the ladies would look like this. You break on one, you're back on the right. You come forward on the right. Okay. As you go over, you step onto the left and then back onto the right and you offer your left for the man's right hand. The weight now is on your left, we go over, you place it onto the right, you place it onto the left. Okay. So opposite feet on this one the first move we did with the little twists and the kickback <clears throat> that was all on the same foot this one is on the opposite foot okay but it's still right left right left left right left right we don't alter that pattern okay so what's going to happen from here guys on, on that very last one um, i will show you from this angle first so what's happening is we take the last scoop the weight's on the right, the left for the lady. We're going to go on to the left foot, the right foot for the lady. As this hand comes down, I'm now going to turn the lady only. So I'm going to keep this right hand low as it comes here. I'm going to keep it there. Okay? So it's going to go low and stay. The left hand comes up as it has before and continues. So we now go behind the lady's back with our right, with the lady's left. And the left hand points okay so it's a little hammerlock from here i'm going to drop the left hand over the lady's head and i'm going to take this arm here and i'm just going to put my elbow into the crook of the lady's elbow here okay now we've gone on about this a lot as well gripping if you grip you will find it impossible to take this hand over safely what happens is you lift it up and you may well take the lady's nose out it's a no no nose no no so what happens is I'm trying to get this hand here and I'm going to let go. I'm going to throw that and flick onto my shoulder as I let go. And this hand here goes through this little window. Boom. Okay. So because we're not gripping, as soon as it gets to the point that I can't go any further, it just slides away and the lady drops onto here. Okay. So now this elbow's over and it's getting ready to support our lady. Now, not forgetting this right hand, we've kept the right hand, if we just move back into shot a little bit for you guys, so we've kept the right hand down here, okay? So this, the lady's hand is there, this hand has let go, it's gone over the top of the lady's hand that it now can support. The right hand stayed low. Now, the right hand is going to turn out, so it's going to push away from me, okay? And I'll show you this from a different angle in a second, but... The main lead on this isn't the hand, it's the chest. So as my chest turns, so does the lady. So what I'm saying to the lady is, you need to go in the direction of my chest. And that's what she's doing. Boom. This hand is more decorative and more for support. Boom. But it has to be on the outside of the lady. If it's on the inside, then she won't twist properly and it becomes uncomfortable. Okay, so this hand's now supporting, this chest is turning, this hand here stays out. And as you can see from that, the lady, because of that, that quick twist, is going back onto her right foot. And because I go into my knees, yeah, the lady lands on my left leg and also goes down. Okay, so without the lady, what it's looking at is this is supporting the lady's shoulder, this hand stays low. And all I'm doing is I'm twisting to here. Okay. So make sure you're not flat footed and your weight's not back on your heels. It has to be over the balls of the feet. And as it's over the balls, we can twist. Okay? We, some of us remember the 60s and the 50s. Let's twist again. That's what we do. It wasn't let's twist again on your heels because you can't go anywhere. It was on your balls. Okay.
easy tiger. So, as I twist, boom, but I've gone down into the knees and then back up again, okay? So it's down, up, one, two, okay? And the ladies will be able to sit on your left leg and that will make it feel safe. Okay, so that's the last move, guys. So what's gonna happen? Let me just show you that one more time. So we'll get that last twist. So we're gonna go over the lady, left hand only, point, unwind, let go, down, up, and out. Okay, so the move all together now will look like this, left to right, so we're gonna break, out, watch the lady over the head, off of the hand, over the head, watch the lady, one more twist, pause, in, left hand over, down to support, and finish. Okay. So from this side, it will look like this. We're going to go one, in two, over the head three, offer on four, round for five, watch on six, carry on seven, finish on eight. Unwrap one, over two, down on three, up for four, and out. We've not got much room. But as you can see, we've done that in roughly ten foot of space. So uh, you don't need to use lots of room up on the dance floor. It can be done quite easily. Uh, we're going to put those moves together in total for you now, and then we'll also dance it through for you uh, with a bit of music. So let's just do it forward this time. We've got a little bit more space here, so we can make it look a bit bigger, hopefully. Um, so what we've got is handshake hold right to right. We go break one, shoulder two, back on three, twist on four, and five, and six. Kick seven, land eight, slide one, in two, change hands three, over four, break on five, shoulder six, watch the lady over both heads, catch, over again, over one more time, pause, bring her in, down, up, finish. Okay, uh, so that was the full move, we'll do it from this position here now for you guys, so we'll go from the first move of the kick and slide. We break on one, onto the shoulder two, back on three, forward, twist, twist, kick, slide, forward, change hands, over the lady, we're just going to push gently back slightly to give us more room, we come in, we go, watch the lady off of the hand, watch the lady, one more spin just for the lady, now at this point guys when we get to here, it's nice the lady's done about three spins, I would suggest at this point you give her a quick look and a one beat break, hello, hello. and she goes, thank goodness for that, I've stopped spinning. And then you surprise it by taking the left hand over, boom, and back up. Okay, so don't forget, music interpretation, play the music, but also give the ladies a little bit of a break sometimes when they've done lots of spinning. Uh, for the gents, we've done one spin, we've done two spins, and then we just spin the lady, so the lady's done three. She then has to do a fourth before she goes into the drop. So for the ladies, four spins, two for the men, four for the ladies. So gents, give that slight pause on the third one and have a look and give her a smile on you. It's almost like, oh, welcome, I've done two spins, give me a round of applause too. Okay, so guys, we'll do it from the back, one last time, and then we'll dance it through to music. So we've got one and two, back three, forward twist, 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 kick, ball change, slide, change hands, over the lady, push away, bring her in, watch the lady, off of the hand, over the lady, over the lady, pause, twist, hold, down, up, and finish. Okay, so guys, that's our class for today, we hope you've enjoyed it, don't forget, you can speed it up, you can slow it down, you can hold it, pause it, do whatever you want with it, but please like it, so it gets shared all over YouTube. Uh, thank you very much again. And we'll see you next week for another class. Not forgetting, Tuesdays and Thursdays, we have Faye and Robin doing our Zoom classes, which are absolutely fantastic. We're loving doing them with them. They teach it, we participate, and it's only £8. And you've got two fantastic dancers in your own living room teaching you. Guys, thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your week. All the best. Keith and Jamie, bye-bye. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Guys, here we go. I've been feeling it since 1966. Man. I keep my hands to myself.
If you like our videos click the like button the little thumbs up if you want to see more of our videos and be part of our little group press subscribe and if you'd like to be notified of any new videos coming out then press the bell as well